Hey everybody, it's Gordon here. This is a video for um, any of you in year 10 uh, about to start going into year 11 in September, um, getting ready to tackle the final year of your GCSE English language exam. Uh, you might be sort of contemplating the sort of things that you might be able to put in place uh, to make a real success of the next 12 months. Um, but also, of course, you're looking forward to your summer holiday uh, coming up. But well, here we are, I've got about seven tips really for you and the first of those would be to really focus on where you are now in terms of the grade you've got your recent examination um, and critically where you want to be, what sort of grade are you aiming for, what do you need to be able to do, what skills, what, um, what, what sort of mark descriptors, level descriptors do you need to be able to hit in order to achieve those grades. So really start to focus on that. Secondly, you want to look closely at the reports, the feedback that your teacher gives you on your end of year exam, uh, critically looking at you know, the sort of areas that they're flagging up, what are the sort of particular things where you need to perhaps put a little bit more effort and attention uh, on uh, going forward. Thirdly, you might want to um, start practicing some narrative writing. This is quite easy really in some ways. You can find yourselves titles and ideas in all sorts of places um, and of course you can just you know crack on with that and you know practice the odd paragraph or two here and there or even put a whole piece together. If you're looking for some ideas on Amazon uh, it's written by Gordon Michael Sutton and it's called You Write It GCSE uh, sorry You Write It Creative Writing GCSE English and other exams say it's on Amazon, it's by Gordon Michael Sutton, uh, you write it, creative writing for GCSE, English language and other exams. Take a look at that, some great ideas I hope, uh, for you in there. Uh, you might also want to really think about reading as much as you can. You've got a long summer holiday coming up, maybe chat to your teacher, look for some recommendations that he or she might be able to give you for books that you could, you could pick up. Um, but also maybe uh, check out, there's a website called Book, The Book Trust. Um, and there's always ideas on that, uh, you sort of type in your age range and so forth, that'll throw things up for you as well. Um, do, look, do check out YouTube, you're obviously on YouTube at the moment, there are other, other people obviously, other YouTubers who are talking about revision in GCSE English, you've got a range of other ones that I've put together as well, um, that they're, they're, they're really handy for you to supplement what your, your English teacher is going to be doing with you in the next 12 months as well. Um, start thinking about routines. I know it's sort of beautiful sunny weather at the moment and we're, you know, we're not even thinking about September necessarily, but do sort of start drafting out some ideas for, for routines for the next 12 months in terms of how you might want to work and, and approach your GCSE English language work. And finally, of course, you know, I, I've mentioned the sunny weather, the summer holidays coming up. Do get some rest, uh, do get some fresh air and, and try to exercise and enjoy the break. Okay, uh, be brilliant if you could subscribe to the channel and if you do want to get in touch with me you can contact me info at secrets of